and goes completely silent. And I hear a voice, both in my head and out. If you do this, I will own you forever. I'm sorry, but I have to. If you do this, I will own you. I've sought psychiatric treatment in subsequent years, and my psychiatrist says it's my superego. I believe it was William David Cleveland speaking to me. The day I was born, I had these nubbins instead of fingers. And the doctor just snipped them off. The hands attached to a wrist that bends with a palm no bigger than an infant's. Did your mom take thalidomide? Everyone thinks that, but no, she didn't. It's a mystery, something in the DNA. Is that why you're like this? Like what, Dan? Oh, I don't know. Uh, war reporter? I am like you. Like I said, like you, I I'll sometimes cry for no reason at all. Or I don't cry for months and months and months. Like you, I see flashbacks. I'm scared to change that part of me that's craziest because if I'm not crazy anymore, how will I do what I do? I'm the same age you were in Mogadishu. The same age Sergeant Cleveland was that day. I am cursed too, just like you are. But you won't tell me what's cursing you? Because it can't compare to what you've been through. There are things you don't know, my father kept saying. Without saying what it was exactly, I didn't know. My mother and father were both screaming together. It felt almost sexual. There are things you don't know. I drove away and haven't heard from them since. They're dead to me. I think it's safe to say. Take all the events that happened, but remove the photograph, and Al-Qaeda would not have chased us out of Somalia. Bin Laden would not have been able to say to his followers, look, we are able to do this. We only need small victories to defeat history's greatest military. After my photograph, 9-11 and this never-ending war on terror.